In today's video, I'll show you how to receive the upcoming ZK Sync airdrop, which will be one of the biggest drops in 2023. With an hour of work now, you can earn hundreds or even thousands of dollars when the token launches this year. Welcome back to the Virtual Bacon channel, where I teach you how to build wealth with crypto. Airdrops are one of the best ways to earn passive income with crypto because it requires little to no investment upfront. I have explained the whole reason why airdrops exist and why they are good opportunities. You can find this in my video about making passive income in crypto linked below. Now that we're in sync, let's get into the ZK Sync airdrop. ZK Sync is a layer two scaling solution for Ethereum that uses the novel ZK rollup technology. It's also one of the first ZK rollups to go to market on mainnet and that supports the Ethereum virtual machine. So existing Ethereum developers can easily migrate their applications over. They also have one of the biggest treasuries in all of crypto, raising over $450 million in the bull market. So I I personally don't expect them to sell more tokens to raise money. Instead, I think they will choose to release the token through a big airdrop in order to attract as many early users as possible. Now let's get into what you need to do to qualify for the ZK Sync airdrop. The first step to qualify for the ZK Sync airdrop is to set up a MetaMask wallet and fund it with some Ethereum. I'm going to assume you have this set up ready, but if you don't know how to do it just yet, you can check out my MetaMask tutorial on my YouTube channel. Then step two is to bridge to ZK Sync 1.0 mainnet. The ZK Sync 1.0 mainnet is the older version of ZK Sync that has been running live since 2020. So if you interact with it now, you could qualify as an early adopter when the ZK Sync 2.0 airdrop launches. The 2.0 version is the one that we're interested in. In order to do this, head on over to wallet.zksync.io and connect your wallet. Then top up your balance on the ZK Sync 1.0 network by I would say using the bridge of ZK Sync official. So under here, under bridges section, click ZK Sync and bridge some mainnet Ethereum to the ZK Sync network. Step three is to mint an NFT on the same page. So under wallet.zksync.io, you can go to the NFT section and mint your own custom NFT. This will cost only gas money, so you should definitely do this. And then I will also go to zigzag.exchange, one of the only exchanges that exist on ZK Sync 1.0, and connect your wallet and make a trade here. Beware, make sure to use the zigzag exchange on the ZK Sync 1.0 network instead of Arbitrum. You can toggle the setting on the top right here. Step four is to get some free tokens from the ZK Sync 2.0 faucet. Now we're trying the new version of ZK Sync 2.0, but instead of mainnet, the 2.0 version is only on testnet right now and the tokens have no real value. So go to portal.zksync.io and head on over to the faucet page and request some funds from the faucet. You will need to verify yourself by connecting with your Twitter. Then step five, we should try the top applications on the ZK Sync 2.0 testnet. You can find all the live applications on this testnet apps list that I have provided, linking below or on my website. If you try all of these projects, you have the highest chance of qualifying for the airdrop, but I would focus on the ones that are most established and the easiest to try out, uh, which have the simple user experience for a beginner. So these are my picks. First one is onchain.trade. This is a decentralized exchange, very simple. You can swap and swap back uh, with two transactions and only pay gas fees. Next one is MES protocol. This is also an exchange. Make a swap on here. Mute, this is another exchange, so also trade on here. And again, another exchange, sync swap, also trade on here. Then I would try trustless.fi. This is the lending platform that's built on CK Sync 2.0 testnet. So deposit some money on here and borrow a position against it and then pay it back right away so you don't pay any money except for gas fees. The next one to try is Mint Square. This is one of the NFT marketplaces built on top of ZK Sync 2.0. So you can buy one of these NFTs and sell it or even mint your own. And because this is on testnet, you don't need to pay any real money. Same thing, do the same on creatorland.com. This is another NFT marketplace. Mint an NFT on here and trade the sum. Lastly, I would use the Orbiter bridge on rinkaby.orbiter.finance and bridge some ZK Sync testnet token to the Ethereum testnet. And those are all the applications I would try that should give you really good chances to qualify for the airdrop. The next step, step six, is to join the ZK Sync Discord and complete the Crew 3 tasks to level up. First, join the ZK Sync Discord by going to join.zksync.dev. Once you're in, connect your wallet, Discord, 
Discord and Twitter account to the Crew3 dashboard. I have provided the link here, or you can go on their Twitter to find out. Crew3 is a platform that hosts community campaigns uh, by the official ZK Sync team. So on here, you can see a bunch of tasks such as joining the Discord, following them on Twitter, completing some security quizzes, completing some Twitter campaigns, joining the mission of the ZK Sync Alpha, etc. So none of these cost any money. You just have to interact with the ZK Sync application, the ZK Sync network, or complete some quizzes to make sure you know about the ZK Sync project. So make sure to complete all of the tasks here. And once you're done, you can connect your Twitter, connect your wallet account and connect your Discord so that they're all synced and your wallet will be qualified and your wallet will be linked to the Discord role. So once you are completed, all of these tasks, you will get special roles in the Discord. And these Discord roles are usually considered when projects decide who to give airdrops to and how much to give. So make sure to use the same wallet that you used to complete the tasks in the previous steps. This guarantees that you have one wallet that have completed all the tasks and ZK Sync recognizes this is a power user. And that's it, that's all the steps you need to do. That's the end of the guide and now you're ready to qualify for the ZK Sync airdrop. So feel free to rewatch this video as you try and complete the tasks mentioned in this video. As you can see, qualifying for airdrops is all about time and effort, but requires no money risk. And if you do qualify, you stand to earn hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Not bad if you ask me. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider consider subscribing to my channel and signing up to my free newsletter on virtualbacon.com. Every week I write about the latest market events, hottest narratives, and my personal investing insights. You can also find the full written guide of this tutorial on my website. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.